Oh hi guys, welcome back to the Welsh Beast YouTube channel. Now, I just want to give my uh, thoughts on an article that appeared in today's leader, the leader, the Bible of Wrexham, Wrexham's local newspaper. There's an article on the back page uh, which uh, features Phil Parkinson and some quotes from Parkinson regarding Wrexham transfers and their transfer policy. Here we have it. Uh, Phil, Phil will be taking his time, meaning he's in no rush to make transfers. This is on the back page of the leader. On the front page, we have the governor himself, Ryan Reynolds. Apparently, he's not buying a house in Wrexham now. It was just rumours. So, uh, let's see what happens there. Surely... Surely he needs a base in Wrexham. Surely he can keep spending money on private jets, flying back and to at a moment's notice. Surely he needs a base in Wrexham. Save your money, buy a house, invest your money in property. You know, trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. Mark my words. But on the back page of today's leader, Phil Parkinson, uh, speaking to the leader, there's some quotes here. You know, Phil Parkinson says, there is no real rush to, had, to add to his squad and he will only bring in players of real quality that will improve Wrexham following a record-breaking campaign. He goes on to say, I have said since the day I came in, that we want to sign players who are ready to grow with the club. That is what we have tried to do. And now we, now we have put a squad in place which has got us promoted. It doesn't need major surgery to push on again. I feel we have got a lot of players who will be ready for next season which is good from our point of view. We wanted to deal with all the players out of contract and announce the retain list this week. Now it's a case of bringing in players that have got to be the ones of real quality that we feel can improve us. Of course that process is ongoing, but with the squad that we have got in place at the moment, there is no real rush. As ever, we have to make good decisions which can benefit us going into next season. So there we have it. Some words from Phil Parkinson on the club's you know, transfer policy and transfer ideas moving forward. He says, you know, I mean, there's not much to add to the squad. I agree with that. The squad is basically there. The team is in place. It's taken a while to uh, to build up. Several transfer windows, a couple of seasons, lots of investment. Why change a winning squad? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Don't disrupt this team. Don't disrupt this team that is now coming together. It's working. It's the machine. There's backup in all positions, there's quality in all positions, it's gelled, it's working well, it's looking so impressive. Who do you add? Where can you add? You know, there's talk of, you know, there was rumours about bail. That's very ambitious, very unlikely, that's not going to happen now. But players of that quality coming in is not that far-fetched. As we know, Wrexham's a big club now, lots of attention, their success. Retired players of a certain age and quality will look at Wrexham and say, well, I fancy coming back. I fancy a season back in football in a lower division. I mean, these are players, so we say, that have played in the higher leagues. They've played for massive clubs. They're superstar players. They've been retired a couple of years, perhaps. They're in their 30s, late 30s, something like that. They fancy coming back. 
they don't fancy playing at a high level, but you know, the fourth division, which is what Wrexham is in, remember, it's called League Two, but it's the fourth division of English football, the Premier League, the Premier League Championship, League One, League Two. These are ex-premiership players, ex-premier league players, they might fancy playing in League Two, which as I said is Division Four of English football. It's not going to take too much out of them. They'll still be able to compete quite easily at that level. And they might fancy coming back. They're itching to play again, but also interested in what's happening in Wrexham, interested in what's happening around the club. They want to be involved. They want a slice of the fame. They want a slice of the glory. And they want to play again. Maybe Gareth Bale was a step too far. Obviously, he's Welsh. It would have been a great... Great uh, uh, signing, a great deal to put in place to bring the Welshman to the Welsh club that's on the up, that's got all this stardom around it. But other than players of that calibre, in Robson, Robson Canu, he's another one, a very talented player, lots of experience. He said he might be interested. It's not impossible to bring in a big name as I've said, who's looking for a way back. If they can keep Ben Foster, that would be fantastic. He's a fantastic goalkeeper, but he's brought a lot of razzmatazz, more razzmatazz and more sort of uh, interest to the club. It's a feel-good factor having Ben Foster around. If he doesn't stay, Mark Howard and Linton are more than capable of... Uh, of serving Wrexham, they are more capable of doing a fantastic job. Linton is prone to getting injured, but between the two of them, they're good enough. They're good enough for Wrexham. Maybe you bring in a third goalkeeper, I don't know, but Ben Foster staying because of the package would be fantastic, but it's not, it's not the end of the world in terms of quality. There's two quality keepers at the club. Directs him need another goal scorer who's going to get 20 plus league goals in a season. Do they need another Paul Mullin if they can find him from somewhere? Possibly. It's great that he's extended for a, an, extra, an extra season. He's now going to be at the club for three years. Can they find another Mullin? A Langstaff, a Tishamanga, perhaps. Ollie Palmer is a great player. He's been badly off form these last few months. Badly off form. He isn't scoring enough. But he's still a quality player who contributes so much to the team. Dolby has done great. He's made a massive contribution to Wrexham. Certainly the second half of the season. But do they need somebody of just the next level? A Mullin. As I said, try and find another Mullin to get 20 plus league goals to really put Wrexham up there now. That's the kind of players you're looking for. I think the midfield is sorted. Although I always liked Sabara at Solihull. Uh, I'm not one for really uh, going out and just looking at players for the sake of it. They have to add value. And I think the midfield is sorted. Uh, it would be nice to get Tishamanga. I've always had a soft, soft spot. Patricia Manga, the left side of the pitch, do Rex and me to strengthen there. McFadden, decent player. Mendy has done well as a left wing back. He can blow hot and cold, but he's still a quality player. Again, there's not too much to add. There's no panic to go out and really, you know, strengthen. Where can you strengthen? You've got to add someone special. I believe this squad is a League One squad, as I've said. So much time and investment has gone into this. There's no need to really disrupt it. Unless something special comes along. I think that's the case. But uh, as I've said before, Wrexham's recruitment and transfer team and transfer policy has been exceptional. The board identify players and they go out and get them. 
They're well connected, the Rex and Bo. There's a solid team there. Sean Harvey, Les Reed, Robinson. Well connected. Got the finger on the pulse. They can identify players out of contract. Identify players who are looking to move in areas that Wrexham needed to strengthen. But they've strengthened now. Barnett down the right wing. Right full back. Cannon in the middle. O'Connell at the back. They've strengthened these areas multiple times over the last year. I mean, Elliot Lee was just a breathtaking signing, an inspirational signing. What a signing Elliot Lee has been. Fantastic stuff. To get a player of that quality has been amazing. So again, these gems are out there and Wrexham seem to find them. Mullin was a free agent. And he dropped down. A lot of these plays have dropped down a few leagues. They've come from clubs like Charlton. They've played at the highest level. Seriously. They've started their youth careers at uh, Premier League teams. And quality teams in the Championship. This is The squad that's been put together, as I said, is the best ever. Look at the quality there. It's a League One squad, as I've said. A lot of these players would not be out of place in the Championship. So as Parky says, they're looking for real quality that are going to add something significant and special. And like I said, I think this team and this squad is there. New contracts have been offered to Mark Howard, Ford, Liam McAlinden, who's a valuable Team player, he's a valuable member of the squad. I like McAlinden, he's very, very solid, a very, very solid, well rounded player. Again, as I keep saying, don't disrupt this. What we've seen these last two seasons now from Wrexham so impressive, challenging for the league last season, reaching the FA Trophy final, winning the league this year, doing so well in the FA Cup, beating Coventry so close. To beat in Sheffield United. You know there's not, there's not much to do. Let's see how it goes. If it doesn't work out. After six months. Or after you know half the season. Then make some moves. Then identify what's going wrong. But again. The way they've been playing recently. The way they've got this shape. And this balance. Has been so, so impressive to watch. There's no need to tinker with it and tamper with it and disrupt it. So I don't think there's much work to do. As I keep saying, unless something exceptional comes along that is too good to refuse. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Like I said, I don't think they need anybody. Really. I just think this will do. This will do. Don't disrupt the coaching staff. Don't disrupt anything at the club. Just hit the ground. Hit, hit League 2. Start next season with this. What we have. Because I believe it's enough. It's enough to have a proper go. A proper go. And let's see what happens. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts about Parkinson's comments. You know, as he said, he's taken a... A lot of a lot of uh, efforts to put this squad together. He's only looking for a few pieces of quality. But as he said, he wants players that are going to grow with the club, and that's and that's important. Players who can perhaps, you know, uh, come in, handle the pressure, and and handle the responsibility, but also improve themselves. Players who are not quite there yet. And have more to offer. You know, even talented players like Toza and Hayden and Elliot Lee. They can come to Wrexham and they can grow as well. They can benefit from coming here. They can benefit from the exposure. They can benefit from the success. They can benefit from everything that's going on. It's a mutual sort of partnership. Where the club can offer the player something. And the player can offer the club something. And it's... It's a solid relationship that's mutual, bene mutually, mutually beneficial. 
So again, you want people that are going to work together. It needs to be the perfect fit, the perfect match. But what do you think? Where do Wrexham need to improve, if at all? Who would you like to see to see to come in? Let me know your thoughts on Parkinson's comments. You know, let's see what's going to happen. Exciting times. Bale's not happening, but will there be a gem? Is there another magical signing out there to surprise us all? Let me know your thoughts. Cheers, guys, and I will see you on the next video.